He's the most exquisite man I've ever seen. Oh my god! Oh shit, oh shit. What's happening? Oh my god, I love it! Also, side note, this video will contain spoilers. I don't know how to do this without spoilers, honestly. Um, I'm reading the book for the first time. I need to talk about it, so I'm talking to you. So, um, if you haven't read the book, go read it. I, and, unless you're really not interested and you just are like, okay, is this book really that good? But, as a reference, I am 5% into the book on page 38, and I really like this book already. If you're kind of, like, iffy about it, um, get the Kindle app on your phone, or if you have a Kindle, great. And get the sample. Download the sample, because this is probably as far as you'll get anyways, but there will be spoilers. Go read the book, or not, continue watching. Sure, you know, if you've already read the book. Hi, welcome to my channel, welcome to the video. My name's Brooke, and today we're going to be reading Fourth Wing. I know, Fourth Wing has kind of been all over book talk for a while. I'm a little late to the game, I guess. I actually went to the city like two, three weeks ago and I went to a bookstore book to try and buy it, but obviously as many people probably know, it's sold out like everywhere to get a physical copy. So I just bought it on Kindle for like $16, not that bad, but I haven't actually bought a book um, in a while. So I have Kindle Unlimited, so I've just been like kind of getting by with Kindle Unlimited books and rereading Twilight. <laughs> I've been rereading Twilight for a little bit now. So yeah, buying an actual book was kind of like, whoa, $16, damn. Sorry for the boring background. We don't have anything hung up on the walls because we need to paint the walls. So other than that, which is my air purifier. But I don't really know anything about Fourth Wing. I haven't even read the description. All I know is that from Book Talk that it's Hunger Games and dragons so but i've heard really good things and i heard that this book is kind of like crack and cocaine or something once you stop start reading you can't put it down i have all day to read this which is kind of cool it's exactly 11 o'clock right now so i have all day to read this got my breakfast i got my iced matcha tea latte so i'm ready to read i will be keeping notes too as i read um, i'm not going to record like how many hours this takes me to read, but I will keep notes. Uh, if anything interesting happens, you'll find out. I'm kind of nervous. I don't know. I'm gonna be really sad if I don't like this book. I mean, I love How to Train Your Dragon. I love dragons. Oh, if this book's actually good, then I'll be happy. But is it overhyped a lot? Possibly. So a few book Instagram people that I uh, follow really recommended this book and I was like, Okay, I actually started watching Carrie Cake's video about Fourth Wing. I started watching it and then I was like, mm, I should actually read the book because I feel like it might be a good book. I don't know. Once I finish this, then I can continue watching her video that she had. So, and once you finish this video, you can go watch hers. I really like Carrie. She's like one of my favorite book YouTubers. Of course, it's updating. I also didn't charge my Kindle at all because I haven't used it in a really long time. I've been bad. I've just been reading off my phone. Now it needs to update. But I really, I want to talk about kind of like my first impressions of this book. Female main character, MC or whatever. Um, I heard she's pretty cool. And I think there's a few love interests. I don't know. I think one of them's name is like Rowan. I don't know. Um, but apparently he's up on the list with like Resand, Rysand, Resand from Actar and then like Rowan from uh, Throne of Glass. So maybe I'm getting them mixed up. Maybe I'm getting Rowan and whoever this guy is gonna be in this book mixed up. I'm excited for dragons. I think it's like a college. I think it's a college for like dragon riders or something for a war. That's all I know. I didn't even, I don't even wanna read the book description because I always read them and then I'm like, okay, how do the characters like get from this point to this point? And then I just start analyzing the book. So I'm just like gonna go in and just not do that. I'll admit that there's been a few times where if I have a physical copy of a book, just a physical copy, I will flip to the last page and read the, the last like paragraph. But I can't do that with this book because I have a Kindle version. So I can't, I mean, I won't, I could, but I won't. 
Um, but anyways, let's get into Fourth Wing. And I hope it's not a disappointment. Book talk praise. On the second page, there's 39 chapters. I didn't even check how many pages this book is. Oh, we love a map! Oh my god. I love a good fantasy map. This looks interesting. I was right! Okay, War College. Ooh, I'm excited! I, I, ooh! First years, don't, why is this giving me like Harry Potter vibes, but more dragons? Healer Quadrant, won't be long before we see that. Okay, cool. What the heck? Oh my god, wait. The following text has been faithfully transcribed from Navarian into the modern language by Jacina Neilwart, curator of the Scribe Quadrant at Bezgaith. Bezgaith? Bezgaith? War College. All events are true and names have been persevered to honor the courage of those fallen. May their souls be commended to Malik. The the iconic quote. I've seen this one a few times on Instagram. A dragon without its rider is a tragedy. A rider without their dragon is dead. All right, chapter one. I'm going to start reading, and if anything happens, I'll record it. <laughs> <laughs> so so far my first kind of impressions i really like violet i kind of like the family dynamics like her sister and her mom being like the general damn i'm really hoping like this is kind of giving me like how to train your dragon like hiccup vibes you know nobody like believes in him he's like the son of the chief i have a feeling that she's gonna get like the biggest damn dragon that you can get <laughs> I just, I have that feeling that she's gonna bond with like the biggest dragon there is and she's gonna be a badass. That's my theory as I'm like, I'm on page 19 but a lot of those pages were like the TikTok reviews. But this is really giving me how to train your dragon vibes. Daughter of the commander, very weak, fragile, frail, like nobody thinks she's gonna do anything and then how to train your dragon, son of the chief really weak and frail who doesn't think he's gonna ever do anything so far i'm actually really liking it okay i'm starting to understand where the the hunger games theme uh comes from <laughs> i'm on page 26 not that much further than last time so basically there's not enough dragons for each rider each person that's trying to get one so um they're allowed to kill each other so that's where the hunger games part comes in I'm really excited. I'm really liking this book. And I'm only 26 pages in. 3% of the way. I like the main character. I really like the sister. Also, brother? Brother that died mentioned? Hmm. I'm gonna keep that little note. She used to have a brother, Brennan. I'm excited to hear what happened. This is actually kind of cool. This is kind of... I'm kind of excited. The setup for this book is really good. They introduce like all the characters, a little bit of the world, but it's not an info dump. And I like that. I'm going to get to reading because I'm kind of scared that I'm going to fall into this book and not be able to put it down. And I have shit to do. I have things that I have to do for the rest of the week. So I'm going to be really sad if I can't finish this because I think it's going to be a good one. I think I'm going to want to finish it. Okay, I'm going back to reading. Stay the hell away from Zayden Ryerson. The air rushes from my lungs. That name. That Zayden Ryerson? She confirms, fear lacing her gaze. He's a third year, and he will kill you the second he finds out who you are. His father was the great betrayer. He led the rebellion. Was his name Zayden? Was that wrong? Rowan? Zayden? Is this gonna be enemies to lovers? Or is this a ruse? Is this like, oh look, bad boy! Ooh, don't fall in love with him! Don't do it! Don't talk to him! As the sister was like, don't sleep with second years, don't sleep with third years. 
She's gonna sleep with him. Stay away from him. Noted. I nod. Bitch, no, you no. You nodded, but you did not get it in your head. I don't know. I have a feeling that's him. Maybe a misdirect, though. I'm smart. I'm, I'm keeping it. I'm... Okay. Okay, Dylan, the, 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 one of the candidates? The second I read his line, I'm not dying, Dylan says. And then he pulls out a ring because he didn't want to propose to his girlfriend because of bad luck. So they're waiting three years. And the next three years are going to be long ones, but they'll be worth it. He's, he's dying. He's dying. Oh, you're dead, Dylan. Let's continue. Not even through the first chapter. <sighs> I don't know if it's too early to say this, but um, Bookstagram might have been right. The third turns in my direction, and my heart simply stops. He's tall, the wind-blown black hair and dark brows. Ooh, okay. Okay. The line of his jaw is strong and covered by warm, tawny skin and dark stubble. And when he folds his arms across his torso, the muscles in his chest and arms ripple, moving in a way that makes me swallow. And his eyes... His eyes are the shade of gold-flecked onyx. Onyx? I don't know. The contrast is startling, jaw-dropping even. His features are so harsh that they looked carved, and yet they're astonishingly perfect. Like an artist worked a lifetime sculpting him, and at, <laughs> and at least a year of that was spent on his mouth. <laughs> He's the most exquisite man I've ever seen. Hmm, I wonder who that is. Zayden Ryerson? We got a tall, dark, and handsome love interest. You know he's winning. You know there is no competition. He is another resand. Suddenly, I can't remember exactly why Mira told me not to fuck around outside my ear group. Girl! Oh my god, no, I love this. You're General Soringill's youngest. His voice is deep and accusatory. You're Fen Ryerson's son. Ooh, oh my god. I like this already. I'm not even a chap. I'm still on chapter one. They mention like fighting on the back of dragons. Like, like as they're flying, you need to be balanced so that you can fight on the back of a dragon. I'm excited to see that. I'm excited to read that. I'm done. I'm gonna go back to reading about how massive Zayden is. Okay, I'm sorry. I keep coming back. I read like three sentences and your mother captured my father and oversaw his execution. Your father killed my older brother. Seems like we're even. Oh my god! Oh, this is gonna be like an enemies to lovers. Enemies, not rivals. Enemies. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I have to get back to reading. I, I swear, every paragraph, I'm like, I read something, I'm like, oh, what? What? Okay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta actually read the book. So, yeah, bye. Dylan's dead. Oh my god! Yeah, Dylan's dead. <laughs> Fuck! What a first chapter! Oh my god! How, how did this author make you get attached to a character in the first chapter with just like a few sentences with like his family showing how much they love him and then the ring that he pulls out and then he dies in the first chapter and you, I'm upset. And I knew he was gonna die, but I thought that would be later. I think it hurts that it's more sudden. Like, I did not, I did not expect that. I thought that was like, a hint, like, oh, he's got this cute little, like, girl waiting for him. He's gonna die later, like, in some other truck. No, he dies. Just dead. <laughs> Just dead.
chapter two. Okay, so since I think last time I spoke, I was on like chapter three. I don't know what chapter I'm on now, um, but I'm on page 112, 60% <laughs> uh, of the way through the book. Um, surprise, surprise, Violet made it across. I'm loving the relationship between her and uh, Ryan. Ryan? Her childhood best friend, basically. Uh, she's collecting poison right now, so I love that. She broke her shoulder. Yikes. We got some insight into like her brother, what his power was, his signet, which that's kind of cool because from what I'm getting from this is you, when you bond with like your dragon, you get minor magic and that's basically like you unlock doors and like, I don't know, go do like tiny stuff. Each, each rider gets like a personalized signet. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Most of them are like water bending, fire bending, but her brother had mending, which is like really rare because it can be used for healing. We found out what Dane, Dane? Yeah, Ryan? Why did I say Ryan? I think his name's Dane. The, the best friend, the childhood best friend, we found out his power is uh, the ability to read like minds, well not read minds, but see memories, but he has to be like touching their head. So that's like, mm, that's gonna come in later, I bet. Um, I'm really rooting. For the MC, which is kind of fun, it's nice to have like an MC that I actually like because a lot of the books that I've been reading that have been like Kindle Unlimited, I I literally hate the main character. They're always annoying. <laughs> this one's actually kind of fun. Like she's she's fun to read. Her thoughts are like I don't know. I think that's all I have to say. I didn't haven't really made many notes. I really like the writing style though. I will say that the pacing is like nice. This takes place over the course of like a school year. They're at a college, right? So, um. At the beginning, it was like really slow and like you get all the details, which is nice. Now it's kind of pacing up like, you know, it's been like 10 days since the last chapter. So I like that because I was like, I really hope the pacing is good and it's really good so far. It hasn't been an info dump of just things like it's actually like an explanation. You get like little tidbits. Wow, it's nice because all the books, you know, that I've been reading have just been like, OK, here's the entire history of the kingdom. And with this history, you're gonna be able to piece together the ending of the story within like the first few chapters. You know, the whole uh, show don't tell. I've been reading a lot of books where they're just telling. They're just saying, hey, here's an info dump of all this stuff. It's gonna come in handy. Like if there's a mention of like a lost child, a lost race, a lost power that no one's had in thousands of, yeah. The main character is gonna get it. This is kind of nice. I'm like slowly figuring out the world, getting little bits. I'm like, ooh, piecing it together. But there also, there's not much right now to piece together, which is okay, cause I'm like enjoying it. It's nice. No, I really like it. Pacing's good. World building's good. I like the characters. It's almost like a mix of like people were saying were Hunger Games, but also like a little divergent. If you read the book, if you haven't, there's basically classes of like writers, scribers healers, a few other ones, I don't know. That's all I know right now, okay? The main character is supposed to be a scriber and obviously that didn't happen. That's where it kind of reminds me of Divergent where it's like, oh, you have the scribers, which they're all about like history and knowledge and like blah, blah, blah. So they're kind of like the erudite -y? erudite -y? in Divergent. They're the smart ones or whatever. The writers are obviously like dauntless. You know, they're all like, yeah, like, let's go die. No, not really, but they're like, yeah, we're dragon riders, we're badass and they are all adrenaline junkies. This one's definitely more dark and I like the setting more. I don't like post-apocalyptic worlds. Like, I don't like that. This is my kind of setting with dragon. I think that's all my update entails. Um, it's two o'clock. So the uh, Kindle says I have 11 hours and 57 minutes in this book. I don't know how many pages this book is if I'm, I'm 112 pages in. But yeah, usually I just leave that off because then I just like reading and then I don't know where I am. Okay, I think that's all my notes. I'm gonna continue reading. Bye. Don't mind my change of hair, but guess what Zayden's signet power is? I'll give you a hint. Resan? I gasp. Your signet is a shadow wielder? Come on. Shadow wielders are incredibly rare. Of course they are! Oh my god. Now I see why so many people kind of, you know, were like, hey, he's kind of like resand a little bit. But I'm not, I'm not against it. I mean, people loved him for a reason. They loved Akatar for a reason, so I just thought that was funny.
I love Zayden and Violet already. Oh my god. <laughs> They're actual enemies. I love it. There's a scene where she like throws daggers at him and they he's like, you missed. And she's like, step back. And he does and the daggers are like right here in the tree by his head. So she like missed on purpose, you know? And I'm like, and then he takes the daggers and he like walks up and like puts them back in her And I'm like, She's like, you're not gonna kill me because like we're enemies. And he's like, no, uh, it's not fun if you expect it. Now get back to bed before your wing leader realizes you're out after curfew. What? I walk after him. You're my wing leader. <laughs> I laughed out loud at that. That's hilarious. They're pretty cute so far. I like it. I'm excited to see how the relationship plays out. And now he owes her a favor. So wonder what that's gonna be. She just poisoned someone's food. <laughs> oh my god, I love it! She sprinkled that little powder on top of his scrambled eggs, and he's gonna die now. Oh, she's getting a black dragon. 100%. They're in class right now, and they're explaining the dragon types. And it's like, the black one is like, they're the most cunning. There hasn't been one born in the last century. They're the rarest, the smartest, the most discerning. Yeah, she's... Yeah, this dragon is going to show up and it's going to be like, her please. And she's going to have to bond with it. And I don't know how the bonding works yet. If it's like, you have to fight it. I don't know. But 100% she's getting a black dragon. I'm calling it now. He gave her the nickname Violence. I love that. She's like, my name is Violet. And he's like, uh, I think Violence is better. I want a badass nickname like that. Damn. I like them. I like them. I like them a lot. Surprise, surprise. Violet made it up the, the gauntlet. She's like at the part now where they're actually like meeting the dragons. And they have to like walk through a line while all the dragons just sit there and stare at them. One of them got burnt to a crisp. Sorry, Pyre. But um, I think something's happening because they're walking through the dragons and she's talking. And then one of the guy is like, uh, Violet? Oh shit, oh shit. What's happening? They're, they're like, the dragon's like interested in her hands. What? What? She's just talking to the dragon. Like, they can't talk back. But, they're like, sniffing her? What? Okay, her sister gave her armor at the beginning and it was made with dragon scales of like, her sister's dragon. And they smell it on her. Okay. 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 <laughs> I'm Mira's sister, Violet. Oh, please don't kill me. <laughs> I love it. She was taught every way to approach a dragon, uh, but zero ways to disengage one because nobody walks away from a dragon because you usually get fired, blasted. So she had she had an encounter with a dragon. Two dragons! Two green dragons. Also, there was a gold dragon at the very end, and I'm like, hmm, a feather tail, another very rare dragon. So maybe I was wrong earlier saying that she's going to get the big black dragon. Or maybe they're the same? I don't know. I don't know. But that one sounds cute and it sounds like, you know, maybe it'd work for her. But also I just want her to have like the biggest dragon out there. You know, just this tiny girl. Big dragon. I think that'd be really cool. That was intense. So far reading this book, there's literally been moments where I'm like holding my breath. And then I realize like, it's, it's just a book. Brooke. It's just a book. <laughs> Are they gonna make it? Like, is this character gonna die? And then they die. And I'm like, fuck. But I do like that. I do like how, like, the author is not scared of killing characters. I like that. And they're actually dead. There's been talk about, like, resurrection. Somebody tried to resurrect her brother when her brother died. And I'm like, is this going to be some kind of thing? Somebody dies and then she resurrects them. You know, like, her love or her best friend. I mean, I'd be okay if, um, I'd be okay if Dane, you know, because he's kind of just annoying. Holds her back and it does not listen to her. Don't like- we don't like that. We don't like that. Sounds like a Tamlin, you know? You know. Keeping her locked away, making decisions for her. And, you know, Zayden is uh, starting to sound like a resand even more. Think we're over? I don't know. I will 
update you if anything else crazy happens, but I, I'm on page 205, 30% way through the book. I only have 9 hours and 45 minutes left, so yay! I'm not gonna finish it today, which kind of sucks because then I feel like I'm gonna be reading this like on and off for the next few days, but I'm gonna try and read as much as I can today, definitely. But I have a feeling that this is gonna be one of those books where now I can't do anything for the rest of the week until I finish it. To-do list, out the window. Plans, gone. It's one of those books that you don't, you don't you don't want to put it down, actually, yeah. Like, I've carried the Kindle with me all day, I just realized that. I took the dogs outside, and I brought the Kindle with me. I was throwing the ball, I had the Kindle in my hand. I was, I was reading, throwing the ball for my dogs. Violet is saving the golden dragon from being killed from that asshole Jack Barlow. Ran away like a little bitch. Seems like it, yep. Zayden is... Maybe gonna watch Violet get killed. We don't know. Hmm. Hold up. Oh, oh. God damn it.